much. Thank you very much, and welcome to the first show of the season. It's great to be back in the new season, and I'm really looking forward to being on nice and early, because now my kids can stay up and see what their daddy does for a living. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's nice, too, to do a show at this time, because all over America, Mama's watching the supper dishes, and Daddy's on the sofa taking a nap. School kids are in the rooms doing their homework. She come to think of it, I wonder who's watching the show. John Wayne is watching, Glenn. Ladies and gentlemen, our announcer, Eddie Mayhoff. And John Wayne is waiting, Glenn, so I'd speed things up a bit if I were you, because he's big. Yes, he is big. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, he's one of the all-time greats, my buddy, Mr. John Wayne. Well, Duke, I can't tell you how flattered I am that you're here to do my opening show. Well, I was happy to be here. I'm beginning to like TV. Oh. I want to thank you for going on that special for me this last Hey, week. that was fantastic. And what a rating. You know, I guess everybody in America was watching it that night, except for my family, of course. Why didn't they see it? Well, no, you see, there's a, it was opposite my show, and there's a rule at my house. You know, when Daddy shows on, everybody watches Daddy's show. <laughs> or else. Oh, well, that's funny, because your kids wrote me a fan letter. <laughs> well, two people definitely didn't see it, though, my wife and I. No? Well, she phoned me and said she liked it. Well, I, I guess I'm the only one that didn't see your special. Uh, I mean, I didn't see all of it. Well, <laughs> let's face it, I saw all of your special. Glenn. Your mom and dad liked it, too. Well, it just goes to show you, you don't know what lonely is until you've been opposite a John Wayne special. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn, he's here. That's him. That's really him. That's the big guy. That's him. Can you imagine that? Me, me and nobody. And I'm going to be working with the duck. Wow. <laughs> This could really make me pretty popular, I'm telling you, Glenn. Uh, actually, I'm just kind of stalling, because I know you're going to introduce me, and when he shakes my hand, I know it's going to hurt, so I'm just kind of taking my time. <laughs> Duke, it's, it's, he's been wanting to meet you all week. He's one of your biggest fans. This is Tim Conway. Tim. I'll just put that in here. Oh. See, I told you, that hurts a lot. Uh, say, you know, there, there's one thing I've always wanted to ask you, Duke. Uh, I know you've been in a lot of movies and everything, and there's just one question I always wanted to ask you. Oh, well, shoot. Huh? Oh, he would be there. <laughs> well, you know, you're always in those fights and everything, and always hitting everybody and getting hit and everything. Uh, you must get hurt a lot yourself, don't no. you? Oh, It just looks like that. It's, oh. You know, it's uh, make believe. Now, this bottle it looks real, doesn't it? Yeah. It's nothing but spun glass. <laughs> well, that didn't hurt, did it? This year, we made it the same stuff. Oh. All fake, Jim. <laughs> well, that's real interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned all that stuff from doing True Grit with Duke. Is that? And this is a breakaway chair. Oh. Uh, Mr. Ling, here are the fake props you ordered. <laughs> Gee, sorry, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll be in the car if you need me. 